All right, everyone. This is one that I didn't really know too much about when we were looking at Game Pass stuff a couple weeks ago. And a few people were like, no, really, this game is really good. You'll probably really like it because it's in the same... Well, originally, apparently, it started as a mod, Skyrim, and it turned into its own thing. So I was like, that's interesting. I wonder how a mod of Skyrim could turn into its own game, right? Like, what is it? So I guess we're going to find out today. Here we go. <clears throat> The Forgotten City. So I'll adjust the volume. There we go. I've pressed the any button. Uh, new game. This is the useful entry and plot twist. Give your audience a spoiler warning for sharing content from beyond the white hallway. Uh, what? If you're watching the playthrough of a game, yeah, there's spoilers. Just so you guys know. Just want to let you know, if you're watching a playthrough, there will be spoilers of the game in this video. <laughs> Everything seems to be on by default. Game of correction, motion blur, audio. I just wanted to see if there were subtitles, but I don't see an option for it. So maybe it's on by default, I guess. Because I don't see sub... Oh, here we go. Subtitles, yes. We'll do large. And and we'll add a new sub a subtitle background. Here we go. Oh, shit, I said no. I hate that shit. Do you want to save your changes? Yes or no? Oh, uh, yes, of course I do. So why the fuck does... <sighs> Wait, it did say. Whatever. No, Rogue, no, I never played Mortal Shell. Alright, let's see what this is. <clears throat> a message from the developers. The game was developed by a core team of three people over four years. Your support allows us to... Cut off. This is a mystery adventure with multiple endings. It rewards thoughtful conversation and exploration, not brute force. The fate of the city is in your hands. Okay. Present day. Here we are in the present day. Ah! Hey, you're alive. When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never going to wake up. I checked your pockets for ID, a phone, maybe. And took all your I money. I hope you don't mind. Hope you don't but mind. All I found was some loose change. So I took. So, wanna tell me who you are? Whoa! Select your body type. Male or female? All right, I'm a dude. Skin tone? I'm incredibly pasty, incredibly white, like translucent. Like you can actually see the blood moving through the veins in my arms because I have such little pigmentation to it. It's pretty creepy. Oh, what should my name be? Uh, here, I'm gonna say my name is Ass... Holius. Sir Ass Holius. There you go. Same choices to continue. Well, it's nice to meet you. And <laughs> I'm sorry to pry, but... Any idea why you were floating down the river? What's the last thing you remember? Uh... I was searching for ancient ruins. I was on a covert mission. I was on the run from the law, or I barely remember anything. So here's what happens with each choice. Archaeologist. Years of studying history give you occasional insights into the ancient world. Okay. Uh, soldier. You have a military-issued firearm, but only 10 bullets. You have to use them judiciously because there's no way to get more. So you only get 10 bullets for the whole fucking game. Uh, fugitive. Your time on the run from authorities has made you quick on your feet. You're 25% faster when sprinting. Or amnesiac, your head, you have recent head trauma has increased your pain threshold, making you 50% harder to take down. Uh, you know, I would say the soldier probably seems the worst because you only get 10 bullets, and you don't even know if bullets are going to kill anything in the game. You might take more than one. Being faster is useful. Being hard to take down is useful. And having insight is useful. They're all useful. I would say, fuck it. Let's, let's be... The Sir Asholius, the archaeologist. Oh, there you go. you're an archaeologist? Yes. Then you'll definitely want to hear this. I don't know if it's exactly what you're looking for, but there are some ruins just behind you. Roman, I think. Wow. I need you to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Al for me. Oh, yeah? He went in there a few hours ago, and he hasn't come out. I've been freaking out, wondering if he's trapped or injured or worse. I would have gone in after him. But he made me promise to stay here, no matter what. There's no way I'm leaving without him. So I'm just kind of stuck here. There's a killer dragonfly Waiting. behind your head. I need... What Look I need is... I was hoping you wouldn't mind going in there to find him. Me! 
if I, you can I do that. I was just drowning in a fucking river. I can get both of you back to civilization in my boat. Please? Mind if I ask some questions first? Oh, of course. Sorry, I don't mean to be pushy. I just... What do you want to know? Why don't your lips sync with what you're saying? It's very peculiar. <laughs> What's your story? Who's Al? Where are we? You really don't remember? We're in Italy. Italy? This Italy. river is the Tiber. Oh, yes, uh, as a holy, is coming to Italy to do the archaeologist work here. I float in the river because I just jumping over a big stromboli. I drop in the river. It's very expensive. I go after stromboli, I almost drown. It's very bad. <laughs> you tell me about the ruins. Have you tried calling for help, stupid? Here we Why go. What am I, an idiot? You could hike a long, long way in any direction and never find another soul. Trust me. Well, you look like an idiot. I wanted to make sure that you weren't. All right. Will you tell me about these ruins? Not much, really. But imagine what you might find in there. Priceless ancient artifacts. Al. Uh, who's Al? He's the guy who washed up on the riverbank not long before you did. What? I thought maybe you two knew each other. I guess not. Was she just standing on this but fucking riverbank watching two ten of you people can wash piece up? Together what you're doing here. What is and going on case, in this game? You'll like him, I'm sure. Once you find him, that is. Al. Who is it? Al Roker, Al Borland, Al Pacino? It's gotta be someone we know. What's oh, your story? There's not much to tell. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead end job with an endless commute. Oh yeah. Know what I mean? You definitely sound Italian too, by the way. You're not even going to tell me your name? Oh, uh, I'd rather not say if it's all oh, the same what? to you. Oh, this is bullshit. If she's not going to tell us her name, there's something she's hiding. Seriously. No one does that unless they're hiding something. So there's something up here. I'd like to know if I'm going to be helping you. Why don't you want to tell me? Let's try that. All right, fine. Sorry if I sounded cagey. It's just that I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. Oh. My name's... Karen. Karen? She's a Karen? Oh, shit. No wonder. No wonder you get that reaction. She's a fucking Karen. Oh, my God. Now we're gonna have to put up with this kind of fucking entitlement bullshit all day. So, all those Karen memes have really ruined the name. Are you shitting me? It's actually in the game. All the Karen memes ruined your name. Uh, yeah. Something like that. But right now, wow. I have bigger problems. Like, finding Al? Change your fucking name. If your name's Karen, just change it right now. All right. That's hilarious that the Karen meme is in the game. All right, that's all the questions I had. Great. So you're ready to go look for Al? All right, I'm in. I'm going in for the Price's Artifacts, but I'll keep an eye out for him. Let's say that. My hero. Duh. The entrance is just past those columns behind you. <laughs> oh, and he left this here. But I think you'll need it more than I will. Where do you leave? What is this? A flashlight? Alan Wake's flashlight. Wow. How do you turn it on? I would turn it on right in her face. Blind her ass. Heavy duty battery powered flashlight. Okay. Quid pro quo. Enter the ruins. Move a left thumbstick. How do I turn on the flashlight? What the fuck? Look at my arms. Look how I flop my arms around when I jump. Why do I do that? <laughs> Why do his arms become wet and noodle-like? Look at that, they're like... Oh! <laughs> Alright, that's fucking funny shit right there. So you jump with B. Y opens up your menu. Enter the ruins. A does nothing. X does nothing. Triggers do nothing. Bumper. Left bumper zooms in. Oh, look at this. Is that fish? Oh, I want some fish. Hold on a second here. I, okay, left thumbstick crouches, and then what you do is you zoom in, and then you, you can jump. And you flail your noodle arms at the fish, but the, sadly your noodle arms are useless. It's like they're broken and turned into paste. You can't grab anything solid, so you can't eat the fish. That sucks. Back already? Yeah. What's up? What's up? Let's ask some more questions. Oh, of course. What did you want to know? Here we go. Uh, nothing here. Is there? Is this guy really trolling right here? There you go. Suck my butt. Okay. So we already. Oh, already did what this. What am I? So it's all the same. It's all the questions I had. Great. Thanks again. 
So I already asked all the questions. Nothing else to ask. Inspect the boat. Old wooden rowboat. Karen must have used it to rescue me from the river. Okay. Is there a button that runs? Oh, raise your flashlight. Oh, here we go. Hold on. This is what I wanted to do right here. The ruins are just beyond those columns. Where? Please, hurry. Oh, they won't let you. They seriously won't let you troll her with the flashlight. Look what happens. You try, and then the game puts it down. So you can't troll her with the flashlight. I wanted to blind her ass. Darn. All right. Slayer says, ironically, the game transitions is more like smooth than Skyrim, but it's a bit more wonky than Skyrim. <laughs> what do you mean, you think wonky that I flop my arms around like a... <clears throat> like a, a limp action figure? Enter the ruins. Motion, is it motion blur? Look at that. There's motion blur when I turn. Huh. Spec. A rusted metal torch which must have been lit by Al. I'm going the right way. Excuse me. <laughs> Can't go this way. There's an invisible wall. Chris B says, this is definitely a trap. Mr. Gray just did a super chat. He says, Phil, I'm a new viewer. I want to support wrestling fans. I want to hear your thoughts on AEW and Triple H is being forced to leave as the head of NXT. Uh, it's fucked up. It was his baby. He's the one who basically did all the work to build that up, and then it got taken from him. But personally, I haven't watched pro wrestling in many years. All I know about is what's going on from social media that I follow, like, on Twitter. So I really don't have much else to say uh, outside of that because I have not followed it at all. I can't comment on something I don't know because I'm not, you know, I'm not watching it actively, so... Hello, UF Chad. How are you tonight? Good evening. Okay. Let's keep going here. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, left trigger sprints. It actually zooms too, which is kind of weird. So we're in some kind of a cavern that looks like it used to be ancient ruins that are all decrepit and destroyed at this point. Lower your flashlight by pressing left on the D-pad, okay. What does that say? What the... What is a backpack? A backpack full of worn hiking clothes and empty food packets. Nothing valuable would still seem strange. Al would leave it behind. Okay. Al's note. If you're reading this, it means I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city hidden deep underground. Okay. Its existence hmm. is long forgotten. All knowledge of it lost. Except... The invisible wall. In Latin inscription here. It reads, it reads you flap your arms like a floppy city, fish. Step forth <laughs> and be judged. The virtuous shall be rewarded with eternal life in oh, paradise. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, what? Oh, no, this is bad. This is very bad. Oh, water. I thought I was going to splat. I thought that I was supposed to, like, step on something. And I screwed up, but actually I survived it. Oh, there's a, an air meter for the water right there. The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain. For this shall be their final resting place. Look at this. Could an underground city have remained a secret for all this time? Could people have survived down there against the odds? Huh. Seems there's only one way to find out. Could there be a forgotten city that archaeologists ever found? Yes. I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation or a warning. Al Worth. Al Worth. I mean, yes, there very well could be ancient civilizations and cities and things that people have not found, right? Would there be people living down there? No. <laughs> That's ridiculous. By the way, how, nice how nicely chlorinated the water is here in their swimming pool, right? No, I think it's a chemical reaction that doesn't make algae or something makes the water look like that. I'm not sure. Gorilla Pimp, is there a reason why you're spamming the chat like an ass? I'm just curious. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Nice statue. Very shiny. Someone must come down here and shine these regularly, right? They must, or else how would it stay that shiny? It doesn't even make sense. If that were real gold, that thing would be tarnished to shit by now. Uh, if no one was polishing it. Whoa. Who am I? That's a good question. Who is anyone? Right? Where am I? Who am I? What am I doing? 
Why are you, you have your hands up? I'm not a police officer. You can put your hands down. Relax. Holy shit, what kind of place do you think this is? She seems like shocked and reacting in a very poor way. And this guy. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. He's about to dance or something. Weird. Now all the statues in here are on their knees. Well, some of them are. And then there's a statue. This is so weird. Wait a minute. Obviously, these are statues. They're on pedestals, right? Why is this statue not on a pedestal but kneeling near this? Inspect the statue, it says. <clears throat> a young Roman woman in a pose of lamentation. <clears throat> the fuck? Oh, God. Lament this! Ha ha ha! I lament that I just tossed your ass into the fucking pool. Damn. What is this? Another one. I can't that one I can't move. That one near the pool I can move. The others are all fixed. Right? Alright, this definitely these are not statues. This obviously was someone who was turned to gold, right? Why else would he be in pure motion walking down the hallway? Roman gladiator mid stride? What could it be the gladiator flee? I don't know, but face down. Can you save? Yeah, you can save at any point. That's good. Let's save over here. <clears throat> okay. Why do I get the feeling none of these are statues? But if they weren't all, I don't know who's whispering. If they're not all statues, then how'd they get on these pedestals, right? It doesn't really make sense if they were people who were alive and they got turned to gold. Maybe it's like the story of the Midas touch, King Midas, who everything he touched turned to gold and then they couldn't stop it and it just destroyed everything around him, right? But then why would, how did these statues get up on these pedestals if that's the case? Everyone looks shocked. Like, it all happened suddenly. You know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't know this was going to happen. They're all, like, in action poses. A young Roman woman, it looks like she's... See? She's begging for her life. Like, she had absolutely no idea what was going on. And just got, boom! Turned to gold like that. Hmm. It's very odd. I mean, the graphics are nicely detailed. I really like it. It, feels, it actually feels like you're really in it, there, you know? Like, it's 60 frames and great lighting effects. I don't know if we're supposed to find anything down here. If it's just going to be a walking simulator, you know? <clears throat> oh, this guy's terrified. Look at him. A Roman military commander attempting to scramble away from something. Maybe there was, like, a shockwave of something that froze them and turned them into gold. And they all saw the shockwave coming and were trying to run and and cower or dodge it or whatever and it didn't really work. They all got turned to gold anyway. Maybe. By the way, I don't know if there's any hidden stuff in this game. Like, I don't know if I should be looking around for hidden collectibles or items or it's just very straightforward. I'm not sure. So far, I haven't seen anything. Like the mines of Moria, the Romans dug too deep. <laughs> Their greed destroyed them. They turned into golden statues themselves. This guy I can't seem to interact with. Hmm. Why are you here? Why are you here? That's creepy. A Roman woman who appears to be praying that for help that never came. She was looking up at the, at the I would say the sky, but it's not. It's obviously cave ceiling. I wonder why these people lived on their ground like this. Huh. Alright, guys, please do not be talking about sports all night. I'm here doing this game. I'm trying to be engaged. I turn. I see people talk about all these fucking sports. I don't care. This is not the place to talk about fucking sports. You want to go talk about sports, go to somewhere where they're doing something sports related. Please don't derail my chat with that shit. I'm going to say it once, and then after that, people are going to start getting timed out. Sorry, but, you know, that's how it is. I'm doing something interesting and different. You guys voted to see me play this tonight. Please don't be jerks about it, okay? All right. What do I do with Resident Evil 4? That is going to be uh, Wednesday night. We're wrapping that up. Okay. 
Now, look at this. Hanging golden statue. A golden statue of an old man wearing modern clothing. This must be Alba. How is that possible? He hung himself, but was then turned to gold. What the heck? Inscribed stone tablet. Whoever is this, I'm sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, that you'll suffer the same fate I did. I've spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles, searching for a way out. The inscription was right. There is no way back. And here there are only two options. Death, and that godforsaken doorway into the past. I made the mistake of stepping through it. Huh. I'm hard to set things right. And I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, it took me right back to the beginning. Sounds like there's a time loop Don't mechanic of some mistake. sort. Better to end it all now. And find out what awaits you beyond that portal. Huh. It does. It sounds like you're going to go back in time to the Roman times. And of course, you're going to be out of place. They're going to try to kill you and shit. Hmm, interesting. Uh, Slayer has done a $1.50 tip and says, in fa fun fact, in One Piece movie that came out in 2017, the main villain of the movie had eaten the fruit that allows him to manipulate and make gold. He would shower someone in gold dust and manipulate and turn them into gold. Damn. So that sounds like kind of like King Midas, but he could control the golden touch, right? As opposed to King Midas, it was uncontrollable. Anything he touched just turned to gold. He couldn't stop it, and it ended up being his undoing. Right. Hobo X is what's the name of this game? This is The Forgotten City. It's available on Game Pass right now. That's how I'm playing it on the Xbox Series X. I guess we're going to the doorway. Jade loves this so far. I'm glad to hear that, Jade. Guys, thank you. We've hit 100 likes on the stream, and I really, really appreciate that. Again, liking the content this year. A young grown woman in a state of panic. Liking the content this year is going to help this channel grow. It really will. So thank you in advance. To anyone who does like my content, whether you're liking the streams or you're liking this video on demand on YouTube. Thanks for that. <clears throat> so it's very linear though. Like I can't I can't go any other way. When I try, there's invisible walls all around me. So I really can't go off the path here. And I'm wondering if that whole game will be like that, or if it's only for this intro part, perhaps. To the voices. This way, come this way. A woman on his knees of begging the gods for mercy. Well, it sounds like they definitely want me to go through this portal, these voices, you hear them. Carlos thinks the game is intriguing. Look at this, it's a big toilet. It's gonna suck me into space, apparently. Look at this. We're going. Oh, we're going. <laughs> Whee! We got flushed. Do, 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 do. All right. Well, interesting. Now we're definitely in the past. Look. Inspect the relief. A room of relief depicting a great circular portal and two women. I wonder who they could be. Oh boy. It's two of the Kardashians. <laughs> so you know the intelligence level of everyone here. Oh. Uh, salve, friend. Lex I'm Luthor. Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? <laughs> I'm Asholius! <laughs> are you speaking English? Uh, what? I'm speaking Latin. You are too, although your accent's a little strange. No! Oh, I see what you did there, changing the subject like that. Nice try, but I'll ask again. Who are you, and what were you doing in this shrine? It's great. I got lost. I'll say, I just came from the future. Uh, no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, wait. Are you a bit, you know, not right yes, in the head? Yes, I'm very crazy. <sighs> That's all right, friend. Everyone's welcome here. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> but listen. Most folks seem a bit confused when they get here, but 
You... you seem very lost, and in more ways than one. So, let me make this nice and simple for you. Live by our law here, and we'll all get along just fine. Your laws? Not laws. Law. There's just one. The golden rule. And the punishment for breaking it's... Well, it's kind of horrific. Huh. But our magistrate insists we take all newcomers to see him, so I guess I'll let him fill you in. So then, are you coming? No. No thanks, I'm in my own way. Fuck off. Look, you seem like you might need a little extra help, and I'd feel a lot more comfortable if I showed you the way. No, nope. I'll know what I'm doing. All right, friend. Fuck Suit you. yourself. Just don't do anything too reckless till you've spoken with Magistrate Sentius in his villa down there. See you around. I told him to fuck off. I'll do it myself. There you go, achievement. Maverick. Skip Galerius' tour. I skipped his tour. I don't even know what I'm doing now. It's great. <laughs> it looks like eventually maybe you could use this rope to cross, perhaps? Oh well, no tour. I don't need a fucking tour. You look like a tourist to you? I'll do what I want. Here, let's go walk around. Let's look around. Here we go. We're going up. This is where I wanted to go. Fuck your tour. Take the coin pouch. Steal some money. That's what I'm... Wait a minute. There's a golden statue here. So they're, they're actually in the, the past, too? Huh. Going up. Look at this. Damn, look at this view. Whoa. So in the past, they have a view of the sun. See that? Where we were in the present, it had all been covered by a cave. Like, you know, they had Earth was covering them. But apparently they actually get sunlight here in the past. So what, what caused the cave in? Huh. We should save. Who the fuck are you? Why are you talking to me? Whisper, whispering statue. Okay, we'll go this way. I don't know where we're going or what the fuck we're doing. I don't care. Just check it out. Look. I'm just gonna assume every statue is a real person who somehow got frozen and turned into gold. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Right. Super Machine says maybe being turned into gold is the punishment. So maybe if you break the rules around here, that's why they call them the golden rule. If you break the golden rule, they turn your ass into actual fucking gold. That's interesting. It's an older one, like a grandmother. A granny. Granny goodie bags got turned into gold. Oh! Ain't that a bitch? Hmm. Which way to go? flowers down there. I can't reach them, though. Slayer says, this game seems more like a narrative game and linear, but so far the plot is interesting. It's intriguing. I'm curious what's gonna happen. What's, you know, what's going on? Why are cer certain people seem to be frozen in the gold? And what's this civilization like? I found some more people. Look at this. What's this? Aha! Salve, friend. I'm Octavia. Why did the Welcome camera paint Welcome to life boobs? under the golden rule. <laughs> it's a ghastly thing, is it not? How are you faring so far? I'm feeling a bit on edge. That's good, in a sense. <laughs> if you're not on edge, you've not been paying attention. But on the bright side, once you've been here a few months, it's... Well, it's slightly less terrifying anyway. We've all been where you are now. I remember when I first arrived. I used to lay awake at night contemplating the big questions. Why am I here? Is there a way out? What is the golden rule, and who or what is responsible for it? Huh. I still don't have any of the answers, I'm afraid. I don't think anybody does. But I'm happy to share with you what I've learned. Randy says I'm getting mist vibes, but then again, I never played mist. I'm actually also getting mist vibes. The difference is there's people here. In mist, there's no people you talk to or interact with except for a, a cutscene here or there. Here, there's actually other characters, so... <clears throat> What's your story? How do you know we way out of here? What do you think of the golden rule? Let's ask that. Hmm. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Oh, that's it? I think about those words a lot. That's the golden rule. I'd like rule. to think that if we all love our neighbors as ourselves and do to them as we'd have them do to us, then we'll all be fine. But on the other hand, 
I was always taught the intent of man's heart is evil from his youth, and that all of us are born with a tendency towards sin. And that's where I get stuck. Is it true? Are we born with a tendency towards sin? Hmm. I don't think so. I think people are fundamentally good or seems that way to me. Man, you know, <clears throat> it's weird. And the older I get, I actually feel like for some people, there's fundamental good. Like they have a morality code or inside of them that's kind of ingrained in them. And they, they say, oh, this is good. This is bad. I don't want to hurt others. You know, some people don't have it. I swear to God, I think some people just simply don't have it. They actually just have absolutely no moral morality in them. I guess you could call them sociopaths. They really don't have any kind of feeling of remorse or, or they cause another pain. They don't give a shit. And that's because I've seen so many people, sadly, on the internet like that. <clears throat> that I have to believe that there's some people that just don't have that fundamental feeling of goodness or morality in them at all. I don't know how they could live with themselves if they had it and they just actively ignored it and did some of the fucked up stuff that they've done. So, man. Oh. Uh, I'll, I'll agree with her. If that's true, <clears throat> then sooner or later, things are going to end badly for all the... of us down here. Unless, of course, there's some kind of divine intervention. So maybe maybe that's the thing. Maybe they, they said they're all going to suffer for the sins of one. Like, one person does a really messed up thing, they all just suffer. So maybe what happens is eventually so many, like one or two people do so many bad things that everyone gets turned to gold? Huh. Oh, there's going to be some intervention, all right. Hmm. Uh, I wish I shared your faith. Okay. Do you know way out? Oh, you're a Christian? Please, please keep that to yourself. <laughs> I know you're not from around here, but things are very difficult for us right now. There was a terrible fire in Rome last year. And our emperor decided to make us his scapegoats. Huh. There were executions. Was it, is this historically accurate? It was horrible. There was a fire in Rome and the emperor blamed the Christians? Huh. Persecuted them? Your secret's safe with me. Oh, thank you. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. Hmm. You know way out of here. I'm afraid not. Although, I did once hear someone gossiping down at Aurelia's tavern about a possible way out. I don't put a lot of stock in such rumors, but if you're desperate and wealthy, and wealthy. you could look into it, I suppose. Why, if why that have to be doesn't wealthy? Work, then I suppose we're all stuck here until gods, uh, the gods decide our fate. So she's Christian. She believes in one god. The Romans believed in many gods. They were polytheistic. That's right. <clears throat> all right, I'll look into it. I hope it works out. What's your story? Here, in this place, the Magistrate has me earning my keep by cleaning and pruning the gardens. It's hmm. not quite how I expected my life to go. I used to live in a lovely villa on the banks of the Tiber. I was even betrothed to a handsome young man from a prominent family. But long hours of menial labor for the good of the community has its own charms too. So I what suppose. happened? She was engaged, but what happened to her engagement? How did you end up here? Right. Oh, much the same way as many of the others. When the fires came to Rome, seven months ago, my family and I fled for the Tiber, hoping to escape on a barge. We were among the fortunate ones with enough coins for passage, but unfortunately, there were a lot of desperate people, and they boarded before we could depart. A scuffle broke out, and I was pushed overboard. The last thing I remember was the water, rising up to hit my cheekbone. Damn. I woke up by the river, near that shrine, and stumbled across this place. So she didn't mean to, to show up. She accidentally showed up here. She got washed in here, huh? All right. Well, fair enough. You want something you else? Like. There's nothing else. I'll be going now. All right. Well, it was lovely to meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. And if you ever... I can't believe this is how it ends. Oh, no. No. What's no, going no, on? no, 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 no. Wolf Pierce, what are you doing? Get back from there. If you lose your balance, you'll fall. Uh oh. That's the idea. What? Why? Why would you want that? Uh oh. Why do you think I'm stuck for the rest of my life working for a man who treats me like an animal? I know, I know things are hard for you right now. Oh boy. They're hard for all of us. We're all kill self. Together, Ulpius. Please, please just think this through. If you do this, it could be the sin that seals all of our fates. Is 
that what you want? I'm sorry, but I just don't care anymore. Please, Ulfius. Help him. If he goes through with oh it, boy. it could be the end for us all. I don't know what to do. I've never had to deal with this sort of thing. Please, you need to talk to him. Man, I guess we'll have to, right? We have to talk him down. Talk him down from the ledge. It's me, the Super Jet, asking about possible giveaways this year. I have no idea it's me. The giveaways I used to do, people really seemed to enjoy. But then when I moved across the country, I just really couldn't afford to be doing the crazy stuff like shipping things across the world and stuff anymore. And then people started making fun of the giveaways, saying that they sucked anyway. So I said, oh, well. You know, I you're right. I haven't done one in many years because I don't really have anything to give away. So, but we'll see. Okay. Uh, I'll talk to him. Do you really think suicide would break the golden rule? Good luck with that. I'm out of here. Let's say that. I don't know, but it's a crime for slaves to take their own lives. Ah. Uh. And a debt bondsman isn't far off. All right. Thank you. And please, choose your words carefully. Obvious, can we talk? Let me guess. You're going to lecture me on how suicide is a crime against the Empire. I was just going to ask you what's wrong. I screwed up my life. That's what's wrong. I borrowed money and when I couldn't pay it back, I wound up in debt bondage. I'll be stuck slaving away for that Culus Cumulatis Maliolus for the rest of my life. I am out. Wherever you are, Centilla, my love. I'm sorry. Ulpius, no! Well, I guess there was nothing you could do about it. I... I can't believe he went through with it. I... Oh, Lord. That poor lamb. His suicide didn't break the golden rule. What does that mean? Well, I suppose it means suicide isn't a sin under the golden rule. So I guess... That means whichever god is responsible for it, it isn't mine. Huh. Remember, that's right. It's That actually is true in the Christian religion. It's actually believed that if you commit suicide, that's a sin. That taking your own life is a sin against God. So, since he killed himself and they weren't all instantly punished for it, she's saying whoever's in charge here, whether it's a god or whatever, must not be the rules of the Christian god. Okay. What happens now? I'll have to let everyone know what happened. And I guess Maliolus will have to clean up the mess in his villa. It's of his own making, mm. after all. And I'd best pray for poor Ulpius. Hmm. Well, that was sad. Look at this. Translate. I urinated into Malleus' villa from above and got away with it. And she was trying to clean that up. Whoa, listen to that. Jump. Oh, there's his body. Wait a minute. That's okay. That's not his body. That's a gold statue down there. I was going to say, oh shit, I almost fell. Let me save. I was actually going to say, uh, wait, overwrite? Yes. So let's make sure that I save now. Okay. I was going to say, is that his body? No, that's a statue. But it said jump. What happens if you do jump? I just saved. Let's find out. Follow him. You want me to follow him? Fuck it, it's a video game. Oh shit! Thank you. Thank you. I am delighted and uh, deeply honored to have been elected your magistrate. Magistrate. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Wait a minute. I'm delighted and deeply honored. He didn't die. The guy didn't die then. Oh wait. And now I That's that's not him, is it? I got an achievement for doing this, by the way. I can't get out. Oh, here we go. Am I supposed to be here? <laughs> I don't know. This is confusing because it's locked. Because I don't think there was. I was supposed to be able to get in here, but I dropped in, which is pretty funny, actually. Plum Girl, this is a game called The Forgotten City. Carrots are purple, and they were as they were before modern orange carrots were cultivated. So carrots originally started off as purple. That's interesting. Painted Greek vase depicting some kind of battle. Greek. 
We're, we're supposed to be a Roman city, but that was a Greek vase. <laughs> Throw that vase into the crevasse. A Greek sculpture for a young boy said, Why is everything Greek? I thought the word, this is Roman. A Greek vase. Why do the Romans have so much Greek shit? Interesting. A bathroom? A waiting room of some sort? Oh, no, from Opius. Opius, to his lost love, may God watch over you. Please know that I held on as long as I could. Without you, my life is meaningless. I only hope we meet again in Gan Eden. Okay. Whatever that means. Save again. Okay. Okay. Let's keep looking around. Another note. Note from Julia. Julia or Julia. Julia to her captors, Malleus and Claudia, curse you to the depths. By the time you read this, I'll already be dead because death is preferable to another day in debt bondage to you. May vultures pick out your livers in Tartarus for all of eternity. Is this the guy who just killed himself? I think it is. Empty bottle. A bottle for hemlock, a deadly poison. Smells musty like mouse urine. So maybe this person poisoned themselves? It's not the guy who jumped somebody else and they poisoned themselves. Stove. It's no doubt unpleasant cooking with such poor ventilation, but Romans probably regard this as their servant's problem. Yeah, because they're fucking dicks. There's a grindstone right there. Alright, should I talk to, uh... <clears throat> should I talk to this guy over here? Maps or scrolls. Ink jar. A ceramic ink jar that appears to be made from soot and water. Interesting. That's what they originally made ink of. Soot and water. Do this is. Did you just leap into my villa from the balcony a hundred feet above? Nah. That was either extremely reckless or impressively clever. Well, why have you risked life and limb to see me? What's your story? Do you know way out of here? What do you think about the golden rule? Let's ask that. You mean the children's fable exploited by Sentius to scare us all into doing what he wants? Oh, really? Wait, don't tell me you've fallen victim to that monstrous lie. Huh. What makes you sure it's not real? The person making a claim bears the onus of proving that claim. Can you do that? Can you prove the golden rule is real? I'm pretty sure it's real. Let's say that. What credible evidence do you have for its existence? Oh, I see that is true. Carlos says, don't you remember when you played Hades, the Romans basically assimilated all the Greek gods and just gave them new names. So maybe they assimilated some of the Greek stuff, all the stuff, right? All their culture and all their art and everything. Huh, it's interesting. What would it take to prove you it's real books and notes? Even if I can't prove it, if I'm right, then accepting it will avert disaster. If I'm wrong, accepting it will make the city a better place. Isn't that a good thing? I disagree. <clears throat> I'll be guided by what is best for the city's people, and that means giving them the freedom to do as they wish. I can see nothing I say is going to convince you. What if I could take you... Oh, what if I give you books and notes to prove it's sure, real? Surely, you're not one of those people who believes everything you read. To... As if a lie could be transformed into the truth by the simple act of writing it down. So I guess you say there's no way that you can ever convince him. Thank you, Plum Girl, for a four dollar twenty cent tip saying the Packers choked in the playoffs and I'm depressed, but I'm glad you're streaming to cheer you up. Yeah, you know I don't know much about sports at all. I'm not paying attention to them right now, and uh, I'm happy to hear that. At least I can entertain you and put a smile on your face, or at least give you something to do. If you're sad about the outcome of the sports games that are going on tonight, I, I'm not paying any attention to them whatsoever. By the way, guys, thank you to everyone who has supported so far. Uh, it would be great if we get some, some more support tonight, considering the fact that I've been streaming for almost two hours. Uh, and I'm playing the games you guys picked. All right, so thank you. Let's see. Okay, so there's nothing I can say will convince this guy that the golden rule is not real. True, <clears throat> but that is simply because you are mistaken. So his name is Malleus. I tried to figure out how to drop him out of the election. Let's see, what's your story? I'm Maliolus. And if it wasn't for this interruption, I'd be practicing my victory speech for the Maliolus. election later today. What, what will you do if you win? I'm glad you asked. 
I'll finally restore freedom to this city, just as I've been promising. These good people have suffered long enough under Sentius's tyranny. So Sentius must be the ruler. How will you do that? By declaring there's no such thing as the Golden Rule. It's a children's fable exploited by Sentius to frighten us into submission. So maybe what happens is he wins the election, he convinces everyone the Golden Rule is fake, everyone starts going against it, and then everyone turns into gold. And that's, that's what happens to the civilization. Do you know a way out of here? I'm afraid <clears throat> not. We're stuck down here together, for better or worse. We're all going to have to make the best of it. All right, I'll be going now. I trust you can see yourself out. Through the door this time? No. <laughs> There's a key just beside it. So I had no idea what I was doing, and I inadvertently found a way in here. How much you want to bet that was supposed to be like a big quest to do? Like, oh, find a way into his palace. And maybe there's multiple ways to do it, and I just stumbled upon an easy way to do it. Seems like it, right? Huh. Oh, it's a nice Greek lion statue. Yeah, everything is Greek. See, everything says it's Greek. It's almost like they don't have their own stuff. They stole everything from the Greeks. What's up here? <clears throat> Excuse me. A bust. Sculpture of Minerva, the Roman goddess of strategy. Really? Strategy. I need her for some video games coming up soon. Maybe she'll help me with my first build in Elden Ring. Whoa! Someone's sobbing. The door is locked. Lorarium? A small household shrine where ancient Romans offered daily prayers for protection. Is there a way to get into this door where the person is sobbing uncontrollably? Open the fucking door! Tell me what you're crying about! I, I need to know! <laughs> I got a big racket. Another bust of Minerva. <clears throat> Carlos's Greek influence is still seen today. Look at how some of the buildings in our nation's capital are designed. True. True. This is Ares, the god of war, known to the Romans as Mars. So they're basically referencing both versions of each god. That's kind of interesting. Another Lorarium. Or is it a Linarium? Where's this key that he was talking about? Oh, excuse me. It's absolutely disgusting. I'm very sorry, everybody. I did not mean to belch uncontrollably like that. Ah. Take it. So wait, does that mean I can go upstairs and open that other door to the person who's crying? Possibly. Let's go see. Let's see if we can go upstairs and see the person that's crying. We can unlock their door with this key. <clears throat> they move their hands like, uh, what's her name from uh, Mirror's Edge? Yes, here we go. Open the fucking door. Jesus, I burst in. I'm not supposed to be in here. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't ask for permission to enter your room or barge into your chambers and see what you're all about. <laughs> oh, my bad. I'll be going now. Can we talk? Talk? <clears throat> what business could you possibly have with me? Finding out what marvelous hair curler you used to get that do. Why are you locked in the room? What's your story? What's your story? I think a better question is, why am I being interrogated by a stranger who just barged into my villa? I have quite enough marriage trouble already without oh, having to explain it's to my husband wife. why I'm receiving strange men in private. Whoa. Why are you locked in the room? My marital affairs are no concern of yours. Thank you very much. What do you think of the golden rule? I think it's about to be broken <laughs> if you don't hurry up and leave. Damn, she won't talk to me at all, huh? Do you know a way out of here? Preferably the way you came in. Oh By my which god. I mean, please leave. So there's absolutely no nothing you can get out of her. Finally. She basically just this hates her outrageous. husband, huh? It's outrageous. You shut up. I'll steal some shit. Hold on. Oh, a chest. Steal 2467. <laughs> nah, I'm not going to do that. It'll break the golden rule. I thought maybe there'd be something in here to read, but there's not. So his wife is very upset, and we don't know why. Huh. 
You think we could go back and talk to him and say, why is your wife crying uncontrollably downstairs or something? <clears throat> huh. You again. <laughs> what is it now? You again? Nah, I can't, see? I trust you can see yourself out. Through... Th Anything down here? Some flowers. I can't harvest the flowers to craft a potion for later. I thought this is the Skyrim engine. Why can't I do that? Whoa. It kind of does feel like the Skyrim engine. Now that I'm realizing it, I'm like, yeah, actually the movement does feel like Skyrim. But obviously totally different settings, totally Still different here. gameplay mechanics. But it kind of does feel like Skyrim. Okay. Have a good night, Guts. I'll see you tomorrow, man. Sounds good. Okay. Creeper vines. These might be climbable if only they could support my weight. I guess you were trying to find a way in here, but I already did. So one of our quests is to convince him to not run and win the election, which is weird when you think about it. Huh. Tweety bird. Okay. I guess we'll save again. Might as well save. There we go. Okay. Well, one little bit done. I wonder how long this game is. Look at this guy. Haha, <laughs> nice helmet. Whoa, now. What do you think about the golden rule? I think it's gone on long enough. And Maliolus is going to put an end to it once he's elected. Oi, he will. Oi. Why do you sound British? Oi. I'm not sure I believe that. Old man said he's got you already, did he? Well, I'm not talking to people in his faction. Comfort you, Array. Wow. Boss in Coolio Mio. Whoa, he won't talk to me anymore. Ah, oh, shit. Boss Coolio Mio. Wow, because of my dialogue option, I can't even talk to this fucking guy anymore. Well, that sucks. I didn't know that that was going to happen if I said that. Hey, you're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? Not really, no. Good. You'd be eaten alive. Little runt like you. Eaten by what? Nobody's told you about Hannibal. Ugh. Why do I have to do everything around here? Hannibal. So, there was this guy called Hannibal, right? Funny accent. You should go down into the cisterns looking for junk he could clean up and sell. One day, a few weeks back, he comes out and tells me the cisterns are haunted. What the? Said he could hear spirits wailing. Of course, nobody believed him, because who trusts a Carthaginian, right? Anyway, <laughs> a few days later, he goes back in. And hours go by, and he hasn't come back out, yeah? So I go down after him, and it's dark. But in the distance, I can just make out his body, sprawled out on the ground. And hunched over him was something that made my blood run cold. What is down there? No word of a lie. I saw... A creature. Ooh. Like a corpse of a man who'd been flayed. And it was eating Hannibal. Whoa. There's a monster down there. Wouldn't that have broken the golden rule? If it was a man, maybe. But I swear on my life this was no man. More like a Strix. Or some Versipellus that feeds on human flesh. Hmm. I didn't stick around to see which. What did you do? Well, any sane person would have done. I legged it out of there and put a sign at the door to warn the others. That was a great story, but I'm gonna go down there. Without a weapon? <laughs> well, it's your funeral. Will he still not talk to me now? Bossing Coolio, yep. Mio. He won't talk to me anymore. He's a fucker. Well, fuck this. I'll do what I want. I'm gonna go down there. I have the key too, right? Whoa. This building. Equisha's chest? So you can steal from any of these things, but it's not clear if it affects the game in any way, right? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe everyone. It's weird that the statues talk like that. Maybe everyone just lives in fear 
that if they break the golden rule that everyone's gonna get killed right because that's the rule is that oh everyone gets punished for for one person doing something wrong so they literally all just live in perpetual fear that if they do something wrong they're all gonna die and therefore no one ever does anything wrong see what that makes that's bullshit because like, like we already talked about the human condition is that some people have morality and some people don't some people will do the right thing some people won't let's read this note to octavia an anonymous friend to Octavia, may the Lord bless and keep you. I'm sorry I could not risk discussing this with you in person, but if I'm right, then you're a believer like me. You may not be able to worship openly here, but know that you're not alone. If you ever feel like you need somewhere to pray, there's a special place waiting for you deep in the caves beneath the theater. Turn right at the first fork and again at the second. So there's a secret hidden area under the theater where I get, it sounds like Christians are praying and gathering. That's interesting. This game is very interesting so far. Like, even though there's not much to the gameplay aspects of it, the story is very intriguing. Is this Octavia? No, this is Stranger. Maybe it's Octavia. <clears throat> a new face. Ave, and may Vesta watch over you. No. I'm Equitia. This is Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? What do you think of the Golden Rule? I'm quite sure it's the work of the gods. Which is strange, because they've never been particularly concerned with our misdeeds. As long as we've kept the peace of the gods. We asked for blessings. For good health. Bountiful harvest. Military victory. And in return, we offer praise, wine, incense, or animals. But here, it seems they require much more of us. I find myself reminded of an especially pertinent tale from our great poet Ovid in his epic Metamorphoses. Would you like to hear it? It is rather long. Oh, really? Carlton Jr. says it's true so people don't have morality. Apparently, a study says 20% of all humans don't even have any kind of inner dialogue with themselves at all. They just act purely off instinct like wild animals. Wow. That explains a lot about some of the dumb fucks that I've seen out there. Uh, okay, I have the time. She's going to tell me a long story. Great. Wonderful. It goes like this. Borsis and Philemon were an old married couple living a humble life in a small town. One night, them. the town gets a visit from a couple of vagrants. They go from door to door, asking for a place to stay the night. Of course, being vagrants, they're turned away sharply from house after house. A thousand in all. A thousand? Until finally, they uh... come to the little cottage where Borsis and Philemon live. Now, the kind old couple had very little to offer, but nevertheless... They invite these strangers into their house and offer them food, wine, and a place to stay. Immediately, the guests make themselves at home. They begin gulping down the old couple's wine. No. So much so that Borsis, the old lady, begins to worry they're going to run out. And then she notices something strange. Her wine pitcher keeps refilling itself, as if by magic, realizing only a select few possess such powers. Says to her husband, Philemon, I think these men are gods in disguise. Huh. Immediately, the couple begins apologizing for offering such coarse wine. And the vagrants metamorphosize and reveal themselves to be Jupiter, the king of the gods, and Mercury, the trickster god. They confide they didn't mind the meager offerings. They were just pleased that someone in the town offered them hospitality. Then Jupiter says to them, You have passed our test. But everyone else in this city failed, so we are going to destroy this place and everyone in it. Huh. Except you, who we will grant a wish. Another interesting so story. So old Borsis and Philemon escape up <sighs> into the mountains safely, and they receive their wish, which is for eternity. Oh, that's nice. Meanwhile, Jupiter carries through with his threat and wipes that city off the map. That's not nice. Some say the moral <laughs> of that story is that we must all honor the sacred rituals of guest friendship the reciprocal obligations owed between hosts and guests. But I like to think it's that we should always show compassion for those less fortunate than ourselves. Hmm. I agree, or perhaps it's that the gods might kill you at any moment for failing their test and they don't even have to tell you what the rules are. <laughs> I'll just say I agree. I'm pleased to hear it. Alright, that was interesting. So I received a super chat from... Angry Templar saying this game reminds me of Kingdom Come Deliverance with a Rome Code of Pain. I've never played Kingdom Come Deliverance, so I could not attest to that to agree or disagree. But it certainly seems pretty unique with the kind of game that it is. 
Thank you, Angry Templar. Yes, it's spelled like that for the super chat. Mega Man NT125. So I just looked it up. The game is about five hours if you just do base stuff. If you do full exploration and you look for secrets and stuff, it's about ten hours long. Interesting. See, I like it. I, this is the kind of game that's kind of up my alley. Exploration, narrative, making choices, you know, in the narrative that might affect the game. I like that. But I don't know if it's the kind of game that people are going to like for stream. Take a look right now, right? We've got about 280 people on the stream. we got some people talking, but some people are saying it's boring. Um, I don't know. I, I would consider continuing this. I'm actually kind of intrigued. Anyway, what's the status of the election? It must be completed by dusk, just the same as any other official business. It'll be between Sentius, the incumbent, and Maliolus, the challenger. Oh, okay. Why do you ask? Can I nominate another candidate? You can, assuming they're eligible and willing to accept the nomination. Huh. What's your role? I'm responsible for announcing it and making sure the procedures are followed. Okay, she's one of the big wigs. Who's allowed to vote? All of the male citizens who are willing and able to attend. Unless they're running, of course. Huh. Can I vote? Well, you're not a citizen yet. Ah. So... No, I'm afraid not. But if it's any consolation, there are other ways to influence the outcome of an election. Such as? By using whatever gifts the gods gave you. Nothing untoward, of course. Uh, can we start the election now? Oh, wait, who's allowed to vote? The what about the women? I want to say what you said. There's no women. Yeah, women can't vote? Mm, that's just the way it's always been, I'm afraid. It never sat right with me. Well, that's messed up. Another there sexist are some society. Women who can <laughs> vote. Vestal priestesses like myself. Uh. But in this case, given my role overseeing the election, I've decided to abstain. I can't allow the perception that I'm being anything but fair and independent. Hmm. But if it's any consolation, there are other ways to influence the outcome of an election. Fair enough. Can we start it now? As I said, I'm planning to hold it before dusk. No, I don't want to hold it now. I just wonder if we I could. could hold it sooner, if there's a good reason. I want to get it over and done with holding it and prevent conflict between the voters. Let's say never mind. I think what it is is maybe you got to try to convince her to do it whenever so you want. What's your... Ah, eh, fuck this. I'll be good. So she's the one who runs the election. Well, if I can find someone to replace Maliolis, right, for some, whatever reason, yes... Yes. If I can find someone to replace Maliolus for whatever reason that I might want to do that, um, right? Then she's the one who starts the election. All right, I'm gonna save. I think I want to go down there and see what's fucking down there. But I'll save so if I die, it's all good, right? All right, cool. 